Well, we're starting right out today. No fooling around. If you were with us last time, we were here in Jinx, picking up a load going to San Antonio. And that's what we're doing today, finishing that up. Actually, just starting it out. We ran out of time last time, so here we are in the countryside of Oklahoma. And uh, we're going to go straight down through Dallas and roll to San Antonio, Texas. It's a new year, man. I feel it. I'm excited. 1.5 miles. Turn right on East 151st Street, so okay. So it's Even though it's all gloomy out, um, as long as it's not too ice, frigid, cold, and windy, it's nice. Like this is perfect. 32 degrees. No wind to speak of. And it, that's great. Let's get rolling to San Antonio. Have you guys ride along with us. I'm Indiana Jack. It's funny because there are no trucks on the road today. It's like a, a deserted island. taking two of these, no joke, uh, because my back is killing me. The, this freeway, the 75, is just bad, man. Just hit, pound them and pound them and pound them. Never been as bad as... Uh, Louisiana roads. Two of those tiling, although, will make my back pain go away. I know some of it they have repaired, but but the other part they don't, which is the part I'm on now. I think in Oklahoma, where everything's a toll road, that, man, they would have super highways that you were just like sheets of glass, you know? Maybe not because they're, they're untraveled more. I mean, it, it's not like Chicago or, you know, other cities where there are just tons of toll roads. since they're toll roads that they'd be smoother. Other than that, having a great trip. We're going to make it to a town called Anna tonight. A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. There's a flying J there. It's not the funky Flying J. There's one Flying J that I can remember that it could be the one on this road, but it's an oddball one. They bought it and it's got a huddle house in it. Maybe that might be it, I'm not sure. Alright, well we've made it. You have the right 
at your destination. On the left side, Flying J Travel Plaza number 477. Warning, weight violation ahead. This is the one I thought, so there's not going to be PJ Fresh here. Which is the better food? One foggy morning here in Anna, Texas, which is where we are. You know what? I walk in there, I get a coffee and a burrito. I walk up to the counter. They let me have it for free. That never happens. So we got a breakfast burrito and coffee for free at Flying J. That means it's going to be a good day. Even though, you know what, I see on the weather, there are some storms ahead. And... So we got some storms to face this morning, but we're gonna go ahead and forge ahead and go right through them. Hopefully they won't be too bad, so let's get going. And the fog doesn't look too bad. But uh, we'll see. I'm trying to get through Dallas before before rush hour. We're going south, heading right through through Dallas. So. But you know, I'm sorry they didn't give you a burrito. I apologize. You'll just have to get something from your refrigerator. Cookies, cookies, cookies. In 300 feet, take the entrance to the left on US 75 South. That guy sent me a message and says when he hears my blinker, he thinks of cookies. That's for you. Well, let's get on the freeway. Well, here's what we're doing. We made it to Hutchins. There are tornadoes in that uh, orange area you see there. So we're going to sit by and let that pass, because I'm really light. I'm only 13,000 pounds, so we will let that pass over us, and hopefully we'll be okay. We are at the QT here in Hutchins. Now, if I had 45,000 pounds on, I would not hesitate just to plow through that, but... Might as well just uh, sit out. We're not in a hurry anyway, so... We're taking a break here, so sit back and relax.
definitely getting shaking around here. Still in Hutchins getting some fuel now though. The storm's done, all that, so we can go on our way. It's gonna be uh, smooth sailing the rest of the way. So, finish fueling up here and start heading south. tornado back there a uh, an industrial building the roof was blown off of it so the fire department and all the police were back there uh, you know keeping everybody away and everything so I've got my eyes open it's still quite windy it's blowing a lot of signs over you can't see anything now but you guys keep your eyes open for a funnel cloud. The rain cleans everything out. The water is a cleaning agent. No rocket science there. We definitely had our share of rain this and morning. Take the entrance to the left in 650 feet. In 500 feet, take the entrance to the left on Pike 35 South. I don't think we should hit that truck. I didn't see anyone in there. Thirty five southbound.
I have some news. This is a live unload. I'm letting the air build up in my truck here. So we're going to be here a while. It was supposed to just be a drop. But So that, though for those of you that don't know, a live unload is where they, a live human unloads my trailer while I wait. That's what a live unload is. Alright, what door do we want? 240. And this is the kind also where we have to disconnect and all that. Take the seal off and uh, we'll back in this door here. be fast. So we do that as close as possible. the dock there. Well, I convinced them to let me drop it. So it's a drop. Now, I don't think we'll have an empty here, but I'll go look. So, don't be afraid to be a little bit aggressive. I mean, I wasn't aggressive like arr, 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 that kind of aggressive. Just, I asked and they said sure. So, I wish that happened all the time. <laughs> 